Fala galera, beleza? Aqui fala é Arts e hoje galera o vídeo é um pouco diferente, vão ser os melhores momentos dessa Pro League até aqui. É, o grupo A e o grupo B aconteceu, já terminou, finalizou, e agora os jogos voltam na quarta-feira com o grupo C e o grupo D. E rapaziada, nesses dois grupos que teve aí, o grupo A e o grupo B, teve Fúria, teve Imperial e teve a BR aí. Não foi o resultado que a gente esperava aí, os torcedores esperavam, que seriam os três times classificando. Imperial teve muita chance de classificar, deu um vacilo ali contra a Sal e um vacilo contra a Complex. Já a Fúria jogou um pouco melhor, então vou deixar os melhores momentos até aqui o que aconteceu para vocês, os times brasileiros, espero que vocês gostem. Não se esqueça de deixar o like, se inscrever aqui no canal aqui embaixo e ajudar a meta aí dos 200 mil inscritos esse ano, fechou? E também gostaria de agradecer bastante a comunidade de Aleartes, que é uma comunidade que está crescendo bastante, já estamos quase 200 membros, é muita coisa, está muito da hora. E, e lá a galera me ajudou bastante a criar esse vídeo aqui para vocês, me ajudou a achar os highlights, melhores momentos e tudo que aconteceu, fechou? Tamo junto galera da comunidade, é nóis demais e espero que vocês gostem aí do vídeo, rapaziada. Gonna need it now. He's hearing a lot of steps towards construction and off angle adjusted for Kito. Faven got a lot to deal with. Needs to reposition. Oh, on the hunt, rotate through. Oh, a threat, a constant thorn in the side. Oh. He gets Crimbo down too. This could be on. Safe, across with the bomb. Ah, oh, already found the multi-kill. Can he build upon it? Tabson knocks another out of the equation. Only Art would need an ace clutch. And he's on his way to get there. We were talking about his T-side calling. Look at his T-side fragging. Doesn't get the last bullet necessary. Favon brought low. Oh, and he gets another one. Art could do it right here, right now. Oh! Art, it's poetry in mud. And Jota's pushing. Oh, We've seen this one before. We've Jota, seen this one before. Jota, Not ready. They, the they don't have anything ready to deal with him, but it's just one kill from the lower man. Here he pulls out that gun in time. Safe what walking in with his back turned. <laughs> Vinny mops him up. Fury have to commit to the B play now. They've gone out. They've tried to find success elsewhere on the map, and it's not worked. They've very little time left. Drop oh. nails that opener on a bolts. Two more men still to find. They've located Cello. I don't know where Vinny is, where he's made it to in this lull in the action, oh, but Cello is spammed out, and now Vinny, 1v3, there it is. can't do it, and so it ends with Vinny. In the one way back in, that opportunity moving past K Serato, not one he's going to get back, so him and drop, hard pressed to pull away back into this 2v5, they do manage the double, man. drop, Ooh. still keeping up these fights, and so it's going to fall onto Kay Serato, he's picked up the orb, flashes himself in, and now he's ready for this repeat, Fallen, Peek don't it. give it to him, Fallen will not give it to him, Kay Serato's made it in, missed shot from Fallen, orb, wrapped through spawn, the bomb's not plied for Fallen, oh! but it was for Jota, Kay Serato! Oh! Rises to his Has feet. He got it? It's so close, but he's wow. just got it. <laughs> he's happy with that one. K Serato, what a clutch. Oh my goodness. He's not what even an orpa. He's not even an orpa, Chad. Oh, he does it anyway. Dear. Double. What a roller coaster pistol round this is. We're into a 2v2 and trading oh, places nice on the smokes. They've got gone no right by each other. Oh, and now is Fallen good. is behind yeah. them. He's got to win this in They're the clutch. Lost. He's got the timing. Oh. He knows oh. where they both are. An execution onto safe. And now just Yuri left to beat. Fallen closes the distance, moves into the site, and once oh, again tries it. to work these timings ah. to his advantage. Ah. Fallen, he's still got it as he puts up the 1v2 to find the pistol for Imperial. Oh, Fallen classic right there. You can just see how calm and collected he was in that environment through the smoke, knew that Safe had walked past and then didn't wince away, didn't hide, didn't allow him to get to the bomb. Precision perfect, just slicing through Furia with this one. Yeah, I mean, if there's any place Fallen's going to be comfortable, that's not a cobblestone, it will be the B-side of Mirage, it will be this map. He has, uh, he has really looked good to The only one who can fight for CT spawn that takes the rifles away from the attack. A lot of strength out of the attack, which makes it much easier for Fury to manage. Here comes a grenade from Mar trying to deny the plant. It will go down cleanly, but good damage from the HE. Two players coming in from Banana. Should be a done deal here for Furia, but who knows? Crazier things have happened. Fallen will be the first player to be removed. And now Bolts needs to win a one versus three with the SMG, Alex.
Yeah, we can all strap in for this one because we can all see how he ha it happens. He gets the first cleanly, and then on, hang on, on. Gets the second, what? and then gets away on one HP. Somehow he's gonna do it. Ah, oh, alone on the side, going for the full defuse. Bolts needs to call the bluff. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bolts clutches up miraculously. Some divine intervention brings a sixth into Imperial. Look at it. Wait, wait, it's pulled back that B defense. Everyone's evacuated the B bomb site. Oh my god, it was enough. There's no one there. They're already in. They just walk on in to collect. Cello, the distraction are only the one. Finally, Cello will fall. But the bomb site has been occupied. A weapon has fallen into enemy hands and now Bolt's equipped with the M4. There's a smoke down if Imperial find it. They can actually drop it into a choke point. That would be huge if they can find it. It's right behind them. No one's investigated. Off the smoke from the HE, Vinny. Playing in towards these ruins. Will Drop be the first to fall? We need an instant trade. It's not Yuri immediately. Does find it. Clean it up. Two versus three, but very light on time. Very light on time. And with Bolt finding that headshot. Okay, all down to the 1v1. Fallen, survival, integral. Oh. And it's Yuri too quick on the draw. One extra second. Maybe even half a second on Fallen's death. And that could have been a different round. Really tense one there. Well played to Yuri to pull that one off. It was a love. They got a challenge against the 1M4. Safe boosted up again, much like he was in the previous round. Oh, yeah. He's got one of the two rifles in play. Let's see if he can do anything with it. It's supposed to be Imperial's round, but save! Ooh. Spray three down, gets away as well. No, it's on oh, Okay, safe. Continues to live on. Two more to find. Still not a guarantee, but at the hands of safe it is. A quad kill on the save rifle delivers Fury a fifth round. What an underwhelming finish for Imperial. One flashbang would have been the difference maker just to avert the crosshair for a second or two, but they did the run and jump across. Uh, sure, it's a great sequence and safe, but look at the spacing, the lack of utility. It, it's a walk in the park for a player of his caliber. Fallen still hesitant with the bomb and hiding at the back. This could be a very well-timed boost. Fallen, oh, no, no. they're all gonna collapse. Brought down to 10 HP and from behind, oh my God, finishing his meal eventually is Start. Molotov comes in. Frag two. Only K Serato, but he has a good shot here. They're going to run out of health as K Serato takes them both down. Shallow, the bodyguard, beheaded. And the last falls into place. That is nuts. We go toe for toe, tit for tat. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, we had to say something unfortunate would have to come through to stand a chance in that round. But what a boost that was. Perfectly timed. As soon as he gets up, multiple players on his screen with the Galil in hand as well. This is the moment. It all starts to fall down there. And they had no idea. There was a 5-7 at the back. Hey, Serato comes in with a two versus one and delivers on all fronts. Furia back in the driving seat here. Safe with the AWP. And it's going to be... It is on this shot from Art. Yeah, it's all here. Ooh, missed opportunity. Wants to come back for more. That's the ball on Vinny that needs to cross, and it will get into the site safely. And now Art's just got a posture. Ooh, does he go for it? He's does he try and stop this? Ooh. Ooh, maybe ill-advised, but safe was going to be quick on the flank if there was an extended duel. Yeah. That's the kit. They're both together, though. This would have to be quite the multi-kill, and already, ooh, makes short work of the first, expecting the second. He's coming for the clear. He gets ooh. the info and takes the head. Safe with three. A miraculous clutch to close. Yeah, safe as houses, you might say there, because that was without armor as well. Doesn't take any damage in two versus one. Has a defuse kit. Cool as a cucumber, and it will be 1-0 for Fury. It all started here, though, towards top and middle. Excellent shot throughout. And even with that two versus one, double position towards the ruins area. You'd think they'd come out on top, but they don't even land a shot. I like the play from safe, too. Not just the clutch, but when all when everything quiets down in middle at brackets, right? He like. There's nothing to celebrate. If anything, a laughing matter. There's the first kill for safe, though. If he can salvage this round, all will be forgiven. Time. There's there's no time uh, for this. Yeah, they can just be, they can just right swing now. on this and challenge. And they didn't deny. No. Oh no. Oh, no bullets. There's a chance here for now for K Serato. Two versus one. He is capable of winning this round yeah. up against the AWP as well as in CT spawn and JDC towards the steps. Oh, and K Serato, the oh, king of the league, king of the ring. You cannot get through him. Four kills in the round, and he's the only one with a pistol. My God, is that fortunate, though. That's, that's that. the round you can't rely on, because that hit looked horrible outside of the clutch from K Serato. But look, this is one of the strengths, too, of Furia that you got to say. K Serato's performance as an individual has just been absolutely incredible, and he delivers a huge moment for him here. And this is one of those, one of those wins that can actually salvage the round, because look what it's done to the economy. Finally, they've broken through to put Mal's back on weaker... weaker. 
smoked out from the site. Yeah, there's a little bit of a pinch here, though, on this retake with Yuri's position. And yeah, they're so focused on, on main that, you know, they lose track of where Yuri's position is up in Evan. Now Martinez going to try and handle business with the AWP. Misses the chance, but there's Alex to get it right back. Oh, that Molly's oh. going to force his swing, but he's gotten out. He's done well to get to this position because now he can play with Martinez. This is a smart cross out of Alex. And as Fury are moving, that Molly breaks apart the hold somewhat. Alex can't wrestle with the AK, only good for one. Drop on the bomb. Martinez needs to peak this. He's gotten off the defuse, looking for the fight, but the time's oh. run out. It's going to be close. No it's going to be real close. Does Drop have it? He just no, grabs no. that defuse. Martinez close. Oh, dude, close this... towards Drop and his head showing. Martinez. Barely alive there, it's risky. It's definitely a risky game he's playing right now, but the right from Oplot slips on down. A good quick trade from Yuri. Oh, Alex. Alex is flanked around the backside, nearly lights him up, and Yuri on the Galil, making quick work with the right for wrapping around the site, playing with his food right now as Yuri just draws the time out of oh, this round Lord. and takes Martinez down for good measure. 14 rounds now for Furia. What a revenge arc as well, right? It was in the 1v2 down on that uh, down on that side of the map that, that he couldn't win out in the round prior. He does it there. This time a little more warning on that play in through main. Very similar looking round, right? You have this AWP moving in, coming up through the heaven rotate. You have Alex with his fast flank into main. Only this time, Yuri. And they come out of the temple. Okay, Serato. He is their god right now. He is just taking every single kill. Finally, they Ooh. put him in the ground and it's just drop left. He's not ready for the main flank. He's not ready for this. And Alex nails the silent drop. Drop has got no idea. Oh, he's oh, coming back. The perfect moment. Drop with that last second realization. Ring around the roses. Wasting time. And for Sorcel, this one's a what? done deal. <laughs> drop that? looks it in. How have they pulled that round back? Kesarato with a first headshot, goes into the site, takes both plays down, coming through the temple, and then you think drop. Surely there's no way. Surely there's no way he can win this one versus two. As you mentioned, Harry, he had no idea. He wasn't considering the flank, but he turns back. He hits the headshot and just runs the time down. Closes out with a headshot right at the end. This is incredible. That, that, I mean, that flank takes so, so long to come in. That's my biggest issue with it. I'm not against the idea, but first kill on Davy G. Feels like neither one of these T sides really enjoy playing against the double op setup. Ops are having a huge impact in this map. Okay, Serato is going to be forced into the open by Molotov. Oh, he sees the shoulder doubles up as well. And Mavi Sars on the back foot. Two players down. Bomb dropped in the open. Nobody's close by to recover it. And two Furia players staying on top. Okay, Serato and Yuri. That's before you even get to the double ops that are out in force. Oh, only 30 seconds left from Obvious to Riders, and that ball has been caught again in mid. Kesarato with just the perfect peaks. He's pushing 30 kills now. I believe he's on 29. And they were just hoping to pick up the bomb and bail out to the A bomb site. serato has got oh, his there fourth. It is. Oh, he can go for the ace here in overtime. I don't think he realizes where Martinez is, but on the hunt. 14 seconds left, and Martinez isn't even thinking. No matter if it's Inferno or New or Ancient, like the mistakes are not necessarily map related. It's like yeah. Counter Strike fundamentals related, and that stays the same regardless of the map. Well, that's a missed flash, double. and they still get two kills. Oh, the nade as well, right onto Fang. Scout in hand, but Cello is still challenging deep. All the confidence in the world. He's got a third kill. Halzerk and Floppy to try and stay alive on Inferno. Trying to ignite a 14 round comeback. And that ain't gonna happen. Nice and easy for Vinny. There goes Holzerk. 16 to 1. Imperial make a statement. I like how Imperial won 16 1 and Vinny's 6 and 9. Yeah. yeah. He just doesn't care. He was having a great. It's a reaction from Imperial. And that's to move through to the A site. Wants to see so many numbers in middle. And Ooh. Fallen goes for the CT peak. Lands it on Holzerk. And maybe can get away with a little bit more here, too. He's staying in advance. He's staying with the pressure angle. Flash is gonna come in. But he still hits the shot. Fallen and Vinny now having to work together. And just Vinny as he watches his in-game leader fall. JT smokes out Donut. The angle was there for Vinny. All the damage done as he runs through the fire. He's got himself in a good position, but JT sticking it. And the kill from Vinny will tie things up 13 to 13. That's a really cool round. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, no, I was just going to say a little bit of, you know, Brazilian magic just when the doctor ordered the Fallen and Vini in a 2v4. Understanding again, of course, Fallen 2v4. I need to try and make something happen here with the AWP. Even holding himself back, I thought that second peak, that could have even been effective, but just not taking the risk. Getting one more, Vinny sticking around just long enough to fight with him. I even like... Full commitment towards A. As you mentioned, Horzog's done a very good job to actually get out There's of There's your boy, that Tech-9. And that Tech-9 is singing. As I'll take down Cello, he's up to Fallen now. They're trying to deny the plan. Not going to happen. Three on three. No gun recover for Grim just yet. There is a kit available, but no utility on the Imperial side. They do have a kit. They're gonna go for this. First come out is Bolt. Grim with the Tech-9, tucks himself in. Fang hasn't pounced yet. He knows he's being held. Good timing. Grim gets one more with the Tech-9. Sprayed down. Fallen still working this 1v1. And Floppy gonna hold position at Divider. Peeks out. He knows they're not. the defuse isn't coming through and Fallen's gonna bail out. He's got nothing. Or does he now? Kit, and he returns. And almost at this point, you've gotta stick it. Floppy with the peek. There's the Ooh. giveaway, and Floppy just <laughs> playing it ice cold. I thought he was done for that. I thought he was saving, but does find the kit, gives it a go, and unfortunately goes down to the blast. Fallen and leaves around with nothing. This time picked off by Holzerk. And a defensive smoke. He knows what's coming with that flash, and he's ready. Fallen drills it. 1v2. And Fallen, the legendary player, in a big boy clutch. They're both coming from connector as well, so this will be interesting. What's the position he will choose? Currently edging his way towards bank, but it's a dice side plan. And we'll see whether the CTs can dissect this one. They've got an HE grenade to no smoke. If it comes down to a 1v1, he might favor Fallen here, but his position for the C4 is not ideal. Hoping he can catch one out in CT spawn, but no one's home. I've seen this move before. Yeah, you have, you actually have. <laughs> I'm starting to believe, actually. Yep, well, here we go. Run it back. <laughs> Run it back. Quick peek. No way. Oh, my lord. He's outplayed him entirely. He's going to win this round. Fallen is just so smart at all times. And he's done it again. <laughs> 13 to 11. <laughs> that is massive. The old master strikes again. We said we'd seen that play before. He had uh, already positioned known. What a reaction, but JT trades it. Well, what can Bolts do with it? A two versus one. Certainly winnable and enough time to operate with. Recovers the bomb. He's up against Floppy and JT here. No utility available on either side. And you can see that they're staying together. They're using the buddy system here and Bolts will strike first and connect oh. the head towards CD Spawn. He's got the information here. Looking to find series points. He connects. And that's complexity giving the round up all the advances you could ask for. And it all falls flat in the two on one. All that poise you mentioned they needed to show. This round, it's not there for them. That is an incredible 1v2 to win for Bolts. Crazy. I honestly, Bolts is so fun. Like he's had such a funny career because I, I feel like he's just been Fallen's like go-to guy. He's yeah. like, whenever I feel like I need something, whenever I feel like I need someone I can just rely on, I'm missing that in my team, bring Bolts in. And what a deliverance here in a 1v2. I mean, unfortunately, you feel like that's not a good, you know. One JT, monster is handled. And here we go. Bolts leading yeah, the way. Flashbang is out. Floppy a little bit blind. They turn the corner. Grim's got one. But now the vision obscured. Now it's a problem. Good trades. Fantastic trades. And Imperial can at least get the plant. Yeah, best scenario they could have hoped for that. Coming out on the top of the trades and still have leftover utility as well. It's an AWP on the retake as well. Not ideal at all. Mulzerk and Fang will have to dig incredibly deep here to stand a chance. Oh! -ho -ho -ho! I thought he just got a bit of information, but he gets a lot more than that. The wallbang headshot comes through, guarantees the round, and Fang, nothing to do here. Might as well save the AK-47, to be honest with you. Wow. Fallen. Went a little bit missing there towards the end. Ooh. The timing is off. Clutches have been an issue for Imperial down the stretch. Complexity's been winning out in that regard. Fang looking to add another one to it. Spots the barrel, gets the kill. One more left to find. It's Bolts behind the bomb site, and he should know it. He should know it. Molotov is out. Utility being spent. That smoke is going to give him an avenue around the pillar. But he's looking for a reaction that's not coming. Bolts, he won a 1v2 earlier as well. Fang with the off. Oh, oh, the leg shot is there, and it just narrowly misses. Bolts brings him into triple overtime. Can you believe it? Fang plays it. They had to use the information they gathered from that deficit, knowing a few players have pushed off from short and monster and Jota. Fortunately, dodges the bullets there of Horzerk, finds the opening, and they convert the round. One more to be played. And we'll take the advantage into the second half. Might not be JT. He'll be dropped first. Fallen firing on, on all cylinders here in overtime. You love to see it as he takes his total. 
up to 31 kills, 30 deaths. And Fang looking to recover the scenario once again. Poised towards long. Doesn't want to overstep the mark just yet, but here he comes. Inspecting the playground position. Good damage to Warcello before. Oh <laughs> my god, he is hitting some absolute bangers right now. And Volt is in position to just punish whatever react from this. Actually, they're all coming back. But there's time for them to be patient with it. Fallen, yep. Triple kill in the round. Make it a quad kill. Make it four. Give him an ace in double overtime because, or excuse me, triple overtime because why not? He's already had a big 1v2 clutch. Leading his team into the server. And Holzerk's gonna back away. Miss shot. Jota just delaying. Doesn't even need to risk his life. Fallen wants it. Giving his teammate a chance for the ace. Fallen, all five. One more lesson from the professor. And it's 23-22. A real captain's performance here. And the dying stages of the third map of Overpass. Fallen with an ace and some magnificent shots here to boot. And you know, Henry, before we've had, as soon as you hit to overtime, there's a three minute break, like in halftime. And then if there's a third overtime, there's another one before that. No breaks here. No, they don't so need. Cheeky little plays for the CTs to rock with. I think it's so nice to run that on the first gun round here. Get that early advantage. Try and get your first round on the board. 5v4 looks good, but just has taken some damage there. The smoke timing nice, but the flash could be better. But Muteris strikes into the back. That bomb has dropped onto the site. I think Muteris might just play safe here, but he's got a flash for himself. Ox is still looking to isolate that angle, but the bomb has been planted. No kit either on the back of Saul right now. That's a nice shot from Bolts. This is still very doable from Imperial, but Fall has been trapped on the bomb site. Dink down low. Story pistol out. The USP won't get it done. It's Fallen coming through with the clutch, and he'll steal that up for good man. To go into connector. Actually, he's going to be losing the shallow early, and that is a nice switch up. Saw not expecting it. Oh, Fujax. Oh, he gets wall banged. That's wild from Vinny. I didn't even know you could wall bang like that, but he gets him through, gets two in the connector, and Saw don't even have a chance to set up this round. Oh man, Roman needs to win this fight. He simply has to. And Vinny is standing strong. What a CT side he's been having. It's just multi kills after multi kills for Vinny. And it's a lone Muteris. In a little sad right now. I think he knows his days might be numbered. Vinny again. Not Vinny again. Oh, not a knife. Not a knife, Vinny. You sly dog. They had to get the knife back. And they do it. That is lovely. Here. Story is holding heaven. That's where the bomb is positioned right now. The head spotted. That is not an easy shot to hit. And Story has to tuck back. But it's Roman who could be in trouble. Down to six health. Story here alongside him. Shot landed. Bomb will finally go down. And Cello up on the site. Hits the first. Reposition unexpected. Cello once more. He's out of ammo. It has to be the Glock. No scope landed. But it's Bolts who has the chance. He's stuck on the site. Story still with the AWP in play. Bolts on that AK. Looking both ways here, but Story will start to close the gap. Time against him. Orp still in hand here. He's going for it, but Bolts hits the spray down. And Imperial can't lose. Oh, this is huge. This is Matt Turtle's going to get one, surely. Surely at least one. Oh, there's the jump. Nikita spots it out, and he gets away. Actually, dismount. Still a three versus two, but time will tick because you have one kit. No utility really left to play with now, and it's all about the kills. And unfortunately, Fnatic are finding every single one of those. And Sandy gets onto the side. He's just going to hold it, scoping in the old classic maneuver. He gets another shot. No way. And Sandy's trying to pull the peak. He's gone around the right side. No, no he didn't look for it. And it's Sandy. Got it. He's got onto the defuse. What an absolute monster. That's insane. How are they giving that one away? He How gets four he in total, that? but the two versus one, the no kit. He baits them out as well. He's going for a full deep. He's already like given up on the round. Well, I'll just see what I can do with it. They peek him, nails the shots, gets the 10 second deep. Doing here, although the pistols are moving forward, that's going to allow the M4 to come in last with all the information, with a good read of the situation. 
That's, these are tough positions to clear out. And the A bomb site's gonna be exposed to long. Fosho's got another one. M4 is about to be spotted right now. There's still one more lurk coming from Fountain. That's Crims, and he's gonna take his time. Oh, well, he's just gonna hold, and they're gonna run right into him. It's an easy kill for Crims. And Sani, it's all about the timing. He's he looking the right way, and he lines up yeah. too. Lovely work from Insani. Danger boy! Danger boy strike striking! striking. Oh! It's all danger. It's the most dangerous place to be right now. The boy is on fire. Just one player remaining. Nikodos, 10 seconds once again. The time running so low. Tries a bit of oh, reaction oh. here, but it's going to be no way. four. Kill make hit an ace! Oh, it's unbelievable. And he's the one who got the gift of just hiding in that wall earlier with the deagle to get him started. He's, he was the only player with a rifle. Like, <laughs> it's just insane. Oh, my so goodness. So two out of the three rounds, Insani has carried them over the finish line. Yeah. That one. He's a pistol king. Oh, there's one for Messi. 2v2. Insani is kind of the guy to beat. He's the big, hot prospect here that we're all keeping an eye on. Oh, the time is running out. Oh, isn't this exciting? Mezzi with a miss spray, but Crims, there's the big pistol round we promised you. Oh. Go on, he's gonna win it in the 1v1. He's sticking. Oh. No way, no oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not even close. Oh no. Oh, I gotta say, Insani played that so well though, right? This is a, a hot <laughs> prospect for MOBR. This guy is very young, very, very inexperienced. We saw him look insanely good at Kato this fight. <laughs> You know, MIB are not taking down really any top teams, but he played that very well, just jumping, dodging. That was the last bullet. Yeah. That was the last bullet. That was a USP right there. He was on. <laughs> Thank God he had like 12 bullets in the chamber when that went. Yeah. Good smoke. Yeah. Score needs one on least on that P250. What's that from Blitz? Just charges in to the mouth of MIBR and already only Insani's the one across. Finally, Exit does sweep score under the rug, and now likely to see that plant go down. Henny gets it done. Yeah, they're not out of the woods just yet, though. You can see Exit and Henny very low indeed. They're all grouped up towards new boxes as well. It's getting a little bit chaotic. Oh. The Deagle headshot starting to land. Both there. Both new boxes are now both equipped. Rifles, this goes either way. Have to hurry up a little. Oh, confirmation of one. Still paranoid about the second. This bait and switch from MIBR is brilliant. You can see the paranoia growing. Now they know one more is there. It's exit. It's going to be difficult to close now. Bartek does not have the time. Exit playing a good game at the back of the site, and it will be converted all the way down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, very, very close. And uh, unfortunately, that is the force buy, right? So you can bring it down to one versus one, but it doesn't mean too much. And then you after the next round. It's